dynamic relief, like the other members of the DEC, work within the standard set by the Red Cross Code, which basically says we have to respond wherever the need is greatest, blind to geography, blind to religion, and they live up to these very high standards. Islamic Relief raises awareness on Drop the Debt, Refugee Week, Fair Trade, HIV and AIDS, climate change. One of our programmes is to provide clean water and sanitation facilities to communities. In some villages, Islamic Relief has constructed hand pumps, in others water reservoirs, and these have helped to reduce waterborne diseases. What we try to do is to help people to use only techniques and products who don't harm environment. People in Africa are really aware of the bad impact of using chemical fertilizer. We are providing them with natural fertilizer and non-genetically modified seeds. Islamic Relief engages in development operations and at the core of that is microcredit finance. Microcredit is about giving them a means to earn their own living. We might hand a family a cow, a pregnant cow, and the calf from that pregnant cow will then be given to another family. The cow and its milk and its meat then allows a family to earn its income from the animal and then support themselves. They are interest-free, following the Sharia prohibition on the use of interest. did we raise money obviously for kids in Africa, it was helping our own community as well and we get all the kids from the community, Muslim, non-Muslim, Pakistani, African, any, any race, any colour, any religion, we get them to a huge fund day raising money for other children, so it's kids raising money for other kids. Welcome to Islamic Relief. This is the warehouse where all the donated clothing is sorted. The clothing that is going to be donated is packed and sent away to the clothes markets in Africa and Asia. It's the profits from the clothing operation that is then donated to Islamic Relief. When we have the earthquakes and floods to contend with, this place really comes alive. All hands on deck, 18-hour shifts, nothing is waiting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I really just wanted to say how pleased I am to be here today just to show my support for what I think is the wonderful work being done by Islamic Relief. We are here to build civilization. We are here to bridge. We are here to work together. Everybody. Because we are all global citizens. We recently went on a relief mission with Islamic Relief as a team of volunteers to Kenya. We've actually witnessed people, you know, starving. There's been no water for the whole year. I remember picking this child up and weighing the child. The child was one gram above the limit. Unfortunately, we couldn't give it food for that week. That bit I found heartbreaking. I mean, what is a gram? The whole team got together. We were in a state of shock. We made a pact. We says, when we go back, 200,000 pounds, we're going to do whatever it takes, we will deliver. As a volunteer, you do everything and anything that's asked of you. Uh, it's a very natural instinct. Uh, when something happens and you see a disaster on the television, you almost go into Islamic Relief mode, IR mode, switch comes on. You know, at first we all thought, deep down, we knew 200,000 pounds. How are we going to get 200,000 pounds? 
So we set up a charity dinner, got all our friends, families, local community involved in it. We raised £120,000 in three hours. We went on Islam Channel and we raised £115,000. In a matter of three weeks, we raised a quarter of a million pounds. Most probably the rest of the world had forgotten about them, apart from Islamic Relief.